So it's another game day Saturday. I have a lot less beard because the Buckeyes lost last week. They are pretty much done when it comes to a playoff race. So my Buckeye beard had to go away. But we're watching them this week pull away from Michigan State, which is exciting. And I hate Iowa. I'm sorry, Waldo. I'm sorry. Yeah, last week was hard. I was in Ohio for the game and like in Columbus and it was not a fun time, but we're working through this game a little bit. I am learning a little bit more about WordPress and setting up a website for a project that I'm working on with a buddy. So yeah, WordPress, fun times. Yeah, the Buckeyes game is getting out of hand. So I'm going to kind of buckle down and try to get this done. I haven't done a lot of WordPress development. And if you're wondering what WordPress is, it's a CMS, like a content management system. If you ask somebody who's super pessimistic, they may say something about it being the reason why there aren't as many web developers or why you don't need to be technical to make a website. Um, and if you ask somebody who works in WordPress every day, they may say they love it, they may say they hate it, but basically it's just kind of a system used to manage content. It started off as a blogging platform and now you can use it for just about any kind of website need, um, e-commerce, I mean, a marketing website. It's used for all of those things by big brands, small companies, local restaurants, things like that. It's free to use um, and there's just this giant community of WordPress developers and WordPress users out there so it makes it easy to kind of get up and running um, and you can get super detailed with it or you can be super generic with it. But it's the solution that I'm choosing to use for this project because it makes what this project is going to be super easy. So it makes sense. Well, I'm gonna spend the next part of my Saturday going to this thrift store that's right up the road from where I live. I've lived here for two years and there's this humongous thrift store that I've never been to that I wanna check out. I take that back. I went there once and I bought a golf club, like, but I was there for 20 seconds, found a golf club, like bought it and then went and played golf because I needed it because I'd lost my other one at a course I was at the week before. So yeah, I want to go check it out and see what they have and check out, like they have a ton of furniture and all of this stuff. And then I also cleaned my closet out so that I had more space and I had a bunch of stuff in there that I don't really use anymore. So I figured I could donate that. So we're going to head over there and then come back. I have everything set up as far as like local development environment for the WordPress site that I'm trying to build. And I'll come back and start working on that after I'm done with the thrift store. So yeah, I'll be back soon. So I'm finishing up now at the thrift store, about to head back home. I didn't have exactly what I wanted. I'm looking for like vintage 90s like pullovers which I had a ton of when I was a kid, and I saw the like Forever 21 um, Taco Bell like collab thing, and they had like an anorak pullover Taco Bell themed that reminded me of them, and I want one really bad, like a 90s pullover in like, you know, 90s like bright color. But yeah, nothing here, so maybe next time we'll take a look. Maybe I'll surf Etsy or something. I'm sure they have them on there, but yeah, back home. Welcome to Sunday, guys. It's a normal Sunday for me. Getting ready for football. It's right before one now, so the one o'clock games are about to kick off. And yeah, I'm working on this WordPress project still. If you guys are wondering what the WordPress site is going to be for, it's a project that I'm doing with one of my closest friends from back home. We had tried to start something a couple of years ago, a podcast and decided it wasn't the right time. We both got busy, things were not going as well as we wanted to as far as the recording like process uh, being far away. But now that I have a little bit better understanding of technology and also like being able to do YouTube and understanding a little bit more about recording things, I feel as though it's like the right time to try to maybe hop back into it. He agrees and so, I'm using WordPress to kind of host the site and the hosting for the podcast because there's a lot of plugins that are available to make it really simple. And that is the beautiful thing about WordPress. There are so many solved issues that WordPress has already taken care of or third parties that integrate with WordPress have taken care of. 
so it makes it easy. WordPress isn't the best solution for a lot of things, but it's a really good solution for this thing. So, all right, so I have to go to the Mono. I think Time Warner or Spectrum want to kill me or something. I don't know. I have to exchange out my cable box. And they told me I should go to the store because if they send out a driver, they may not have a newer box. And it just seems crazy that they can't like tell a driver to take a box to someone's house or ship me a box and then I have to go to a store. Like, that's insane. But that's where I'm headed. And then I will be back here and I will explain what projects you shouldn't use WordPress for and what kind of problems WordPress shouldn't be used to solve. So I'll catch you when I get back after yelling at Spectrum people or whatever. It's now Monday morning and I know I know I said I'd be back on Sunday night after the mall but it took a little bit longer than I thought it would and when I got back it was dark outside and I didn't feel like setting up lights I just felt like chilling because it took a while so here I am on Monday to kind of wrap this video up and what I said I would talk about is when to not use WordPress right so WordPress to review is really good for like marketing websites and uh, like business, restaurant, local websites, those kind of things. And even like big brands, if your website just needs to be kind of a marketing website, it's really good for blogs. It's really good at managing content. That's what it is. It's a content management system. And you can use plugins and create your own themes and do a lot of stuff to really beef it up to make it even more than that but it really isn't meant for certain things that you shouldn't use it for. It's probably overkill for a very simple site that doesn't have much dynamic content. If nothing is really changing on your website, if you're just setting up a website to point people in one direction or to give information about one thing, say you're really, really into like a very specific, like topic that doesn't change, there's not like new research on it, or there's not like new models coming out, then probably just building a regular plain old HTML CSS static website is better than using a content management system like WordPress. Also, if you're wanting to build like a single page web application with something like React or Angular, WordPress probably isn't the solution for you. If you're trying to build out a web application, you want to kind of build that from the ground up so that you can use all of the tools that you want to and they don't they aren't being interfered with by a whole another system that's layered over top or underneath it like WordPress is. And so when you're deciding on what kind of projects you should build to get a role, it kind of depends on what role you want to get, right? If you want to be a WordPress developer, if you want to work for like an agency that does marketing websites and digital content for like different people, local businesses or big enterprise clients, then building out a WordPress site to put on your profile is probably a good idea. Learning WordPress and PHP for WordPress is probably a good idea. If you wanna work for a company that is making like a web application or builds out web applications for clients, then WordPress probably isn't what they work in. They work in things like React and Angular and those kind of things, and that's what you should be focusing your attention on. WordPress is really a really valuable skill for any web developer, but if you're looking for your first job and you know what kind of positions are available in your area, then it's not necessarily something that you have to pick up. And it's not something that's going to kill the web development industry. There are still people who need to develop for WordPress. There are generic websites that you can just use stock WordPress and all of the plugins that are already made for it. And you can be really simple with it and not need to be a developer at all. But there are also situations out there where people need a more custom, more tailored, more bespoke instance of WordPress. And there are a lot, a lot of developers out there who get paid to be WordPress developers for those situations. So I wouldn't necessarily be scared of WordPress. I wouldn't hate WordPress. I would just know that it's another thing that can be a tool in your belt depending upon what kind of job you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on WordPress and what my weekend was like. It's kind of a weird vlog slash topic video. I don't know, I like doing these where they kind of have a message and it's not just me like, I'm working on this right now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you wanna to continue to follow along in the journey, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any questions or comments or if I missed anything on WordPress, as always, leave them down in the comments. That's super awesome. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.